Movie from the South returns to the South as a screenplay next at 6 this morning. The show dates and where to buy the tickets. Plus, a new dessert shop coming to downtown Macon. A sneak peek of what to expect coming up next. Right now, the time is 642. Still definitely time for that iced coffee. Yes. Not going for hot coffee yes. just yet. That's right. We've been in the 90s the past few days, but by the time we get to next week, how about morning lows in the low 60s? Maybe we that's, like that. that. That's the hot coffee stuff. There Wait, we, go. we got to get through today first. And I don't think we're going to see <laughs> a whole lot. What's happening behind you? <laughs> oh, what wow. is that? Pitch black? Yeah. No, so this is Atrium Health Navison right now. The Are fog. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, yeah, it is foggy across parts of central Georgia this morning. So we're trying to look live towards downtown. You can just faintly see the, the stoplights there in the road, and that is about it. So the fog stopped, in, stopped into downtown. Uh, visibility down to about a half mile there at the airport. It's up to about two miles now in Warner Robins. Really in Fort Valley right now, looking at a lot of it over towards the Butler area. Two miles of visibility in Milledgeville, five miles or close to six miles of visibility there in Forsyth, and about 1.3 miles of visibility in Scotland. So all those sensors are at the airports. So it's not right over the city necessarily where the, the densest fog is. So, you know, you're looking at Dublin saying, I can't see three miles. Well, it's because at the airport they can. The radar you see this morning, that is not rainfall. Obviously, that's the fog and the low clouds that it's picking up on. 69 in Macon, 70 now in Winter Robin, 71 in Gordon, 72 in Milledgeville. Waking up to 70 in Johnson County this morning. Across the southeast, a couple scattered showers off the coast. Hello, look at that. That's the edge of the hurricane out in the Atlantic. And then 50s up towards the north. How about 56 in Nashville? So it's not all that far away. There's a front in the neighborhood that's actually going to provide the chance for showers and storms today. The front's not going to work its way Oh, all the way through central Georgia, we'll say, but it will have a decent chance of making it through parts of our area. Well, let's take a look at the afternoon, and that's what the front's going to do. Widespread showers and storms through the afternoon hours across the, you know, Macon, Warner Robins, Millersville, Irwinton, Wrightsville. Everybody's got a fairly good chance of it. And then I know Future View is showing us dry here at 9 p.m., but it wouldn't surprise me if into the overnight hours we see one or two of those storms linger around. Going with 83 for Saturday, 85 on Sunday, a 30% chance of storms both days. And if you're headed to Athens for Georgia, South Carolina this weekend, Look at this. Mind you, it is mid-September and we've got a game day with temperatures in the 70s. Kickoff at 330 right here on 13 WMAZ. We'll be in the 80s down here in Macon, but I think 70s are more likely up in the Athens area sunset at 739 up there. Into next week, I think we're mainly dry for Monday, mainly dry for Tuesday, maybe a small blip, but I think Wednesday would probably be our next rain chance there. All right, here's Hurricane Lee this morning, Category 2, still south of Bermuda, but the plan is for it to continue to weaken, but as it does so, its wind field continues to grow. So we're going to be looking at tropical storm force winds away from the center about 100 miles or so by the time it makes landfall through the weekend up into the maritime waters of Canada. So it means the main coast over towards Massachusetts and Rhode Island likely going to feel the impacts from this storm. Back here in central Georgia, temperatures into the 80s by the noon hour, eventually to a high temperature around 86 today. That would put us below average and it should be about 88 for this time of year. Then 82 for Friday, 83 on Saturday, a 40 and 30% chance of rain. We'll keep that 30% around for Sunday. I'm thinking mainly dry for Monday and honestly, I might go drop that rain chance on Tuesday. I'm thinking we're going to be mainly dry then as well. But check out those overnight low temperatures. 63 for Monday, 61 on Tuesday. How about 62 on Wednesday?
647, Scene 13 is back. Your go-to for all things arts, culture, and entertainment right here in the heart of Georgia. Oh yeah, TJ Anthony is live in Perry this morning with this week's Scene 13. Uh, TJ, what you're about to talk about is something a lot of people here know and love. Oh yeah, exactly. Right now we are live outside of the Perry Players Community Theater. And let me tell you, their show is kicking off tonight and it's a show that some, so many of you may know and love, especially for the movie buff, the movie buffs out there and also the Dolly Parton fans. You may remember the 1989 movie Steel Magnolias featuring Dolly Parton and Julia Roberts. The film takes place in the South and a stage play is coming to the South, the Perry Players Theater to be exact. As somebody always said, if you don't have anything nice to say about anybody, come sit by me. The story centers around six strong women. The cast includes Houston County's own Kathy Hudo, who plays Clary Belcher. She's a widow who's mastered the art of sarcasm. For many people, the barber or beauty salon bonded them with others in the community. In this play, it has a role in bonding these steel magnolias together. Not just a salon, it's not just a barber shop. It is really a place for them to all be together um, and to have those conversations and to have those friendships. Bryson Holloway, the director, says even though the six women have different life experiences, they still show up for one another. They're all affected by something that happens uh, and it's all about how they deal with that and how they, uh, how they come together. Through the trials and tribulations, the characters find family within each other. Sometimes the worst tragedies can bring the most joy because of things that happen after that that you would, would not have experienced. Prepare to laugh, um, be moved, and um, bring tissues. And the show starts tonight in Frederick. They actually had to add three more shows just because of the high demand with the show. Live in Perry, TJ Anthony, 13 WMAZ News. Back to you. Thank you so much, TJ. So many people know and love that show, as he said. So I know a lot of people are going to be excited. If you want to get tickets, it'll be linked under this story on 13WMAZ.com. Uh, Perry players always do a great job. I recommend going.